What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today we are going to talk about the new M18 pack out fan. Now I have the M12 fan, the M18 fan. I even have uh, this 18 inch fan. Uh, and well, <clears throat> in another video, we will go over all three of those, what I personally use them for, but I bought all of these with my personal money, not a sponsored video whatsoever. Uh, I also have the new, if you're ever interested, I have the new dual battery trimmer. I have the extended post saw. I have the new uh, backpack blower. I also have the hedge trimmer, new hedge trimmer attachment, the new bed redefiner attachment, uh, and the extendable magnetic boom light also. So lots of videos coming your way to let you know about these products and uh, show you them in action but today's video we're going to talk about the m18 uh, pack out fan so let's jump in to this video all right guys so we got the m18 pack out fan here and well what do you want to know i will tell you this if you own the old m18 fan like i did uh, I had a, a couple problems with it. Um, first, the fan blade, uh, the screws behind it, I think a lot of people had this issue where they, the screws would come loose and you'd get a rattling sound inside there. So uh, yeah, big issue with that when you spend this money on a fan. The pack out fan, totally awesome. So far, absolutely love it because not only is it way more powerful than the previous model, it's well worth the upgrade. I promise you if you haven't upgraded yet. Uh, we've got a adjustable speed dial here <clears throat> completely. I think it's a 300 degree rotation and it's, it's nice. It's not going to move on you. We also have Battery compartment, yes, it will fit a 12.0. I've got my Ford 6.0 in it right now. But you also have an AC on this, so you can plug it in if you want to. Uh, pack out, people. Hey, got your pack out here. A couple different ways. You know, you can hang it on a screw, whatever you want to do if you wanted to do it that way. But uh, pack out, it is pack out compatible. But this thing, let me tell you, <clears throat> I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. Well, you would if, I, if I'm able to get in front of it. But uh, so this is on, okay? It's just on. This is how quiet this is. You probably can't even hear that. If you hear anything, it's probably me not shutting up or the, the fan in the background from the AC in the garage. Let's turn it up some here. This right here is about halfway. Nice breeze, but full speed. Here we go. Look how quiet that is. Anyway, it's very quiet, but it also puts out a ton of air. Uh, I mean, a ton of air, <clears throat> if you can't tell. I mean, even holding it here. Let's turn it down some. Still getting, now let's turn it completely off so you can see that I am not, well, actually, let's just hold this like this and turn it on. And that way I am holding it straight, completely. Now let's turn it off. And that way you can watch it go straight back down. It's got a lot of uh, <clears throat> 20 and a half miles per hour is what this thing does. So let's go over some specs with you here. I know you can get this offline. I don't know what else to, to really tell you about this. Uh, variable speed dial, compatible with the pack out battery AC, uh, so you can um, plug it in. <clears throat> Blade design, 300 degree head rotation, brushless motor, 850 CFM, 20 and a half miles per hour. That's crazy. I mean, just, it's amazing that this fan is the cost that it is for what it is. Uh, so let's see here, blade diameter, seven inches, width 9.75, 16 inches high. I mean, this is six and a half pounds, 6.4 pounds. Uh, anyway, so this is what we're gonna get to uh, eventually because I will go over once again, all three of these because I own 
every single one of them I purchased once again with my own money, not sponsored whatsoever. Uh, the M12 only does a 12 amp battery or, or the M12 battery, but you're looking at 400 CFM, 14 mile per hour airspeed on the M12 and I love the M12. I use it for um, mowing actually because it's got a magnet on it. So I'll magnetize it to my mower. And when it's very hot and not that windy outside, I use it to blow air on me. Works very well. That's what I personally use it for. Uh, this is literally just my garage fan, just like the DeWalt one over here that I've had for years, but this is what I use this for. Um, strictly just, I come inside, I'm hot. Uh, I just turn the fan toward me and turn it on. That's what I use it for. Uh, the big M18 brushless fan. Um, now it takes AC as well, so you can keep it plugged in, but the battery life on that thing is absolutely insane. 3,400 CFM. That's what I use. Well, we'll go over all that later. Uh, but it's got a, you can, you know, it's got a stackable design, blah, blah, blah. Uh, pack out key hose, pass through hose um, as well on this for your mounting, uh, mounting and magnets and a clamp on the M12. But uh, anyway, guys, if you want to know anything about this, this is the one thing I don't get about Milwaukee is I don't know very many people that own the 5.0 or use the 5.0, even on the fan, on the radio. A lot of their, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Advertisement is with a 5.0 battery. Um, just tell us what it is with a six uh, or something else because I don't know very many people that buy the 5.0. So I personally don't care what a 5.0 does. Uh, tell me what a 6.0 does um, or an 8.0, uh, more than likely a 6.0. A lot of people I know, uh, even on the Milwaukee tool pages, if you're watching this, thank you, uh, appreciate it but uh, a lot of them have the 6.0 high outputs uh, or the M12 forged battery like, or the M12, the M18 forged battery 6.0 like I've got. And so uh, now they've got the forged 12.0s, but give us the runtime with the 6.0 battery, um, just a regular 6.0 high output because I don't know a lot of people that are, have bought the forges yet, but I don't understand the 5.0 thing because I don't know a lot of people that use a 5.0 battery even in their fans it just I, I don't know makes no sense to me why they but they say a little over three hours on a 5.0 you can put a 12 in this so you know do the math you're going to get over six hours of runtime with the 12.0 but i mean who who needs a battery if you're using it for a job site possibly your pack out possibly but us, i see a lot of you guys building in these battery packs and stuff like that that you can charge your phones and and run freaking this and that with these pack outs that you're building crazy things with uh, that just blow my mind. Well, you know, maybe you want to use it to power this instead. And I, I don't know, I guess it'd be the same unless you're using a different power source. But anyway, uh, if you have any questions, guys, feel free to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts uh, on this. This thing, like I said, if you own the previous model, this is a huge, huge upgrade in my opinion because way more power than the previous model. Plus you get the AC uh, and the uh, no more clicky clicky. Uh, you get a variable speed dial with it and it is very, very powerful. But just but now if you have a pack out on your wall or something like that, you could actually mount this on your wall as well and turn it towards you. Uh, maybe you've got a pack out mounted in your, your van uh, or your trailer. Once again, throw it on that pack out uh, and on the wall or whatever you're using and then boom, uh, turn it on and face it towards you, get you some air blowing in that enclosed trailer uh, or your van, whatever. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Stay tuned because we will be talking about all three. Uh, I will have them on a table probably up here and we will go over all three, what I personally use them for. We'll go over these specs on them all. And uh, if you'd like to know runtime with a certain battery, let me know. I I'll do it, I don't care. I've got uh, most all the batteries. So if you are really interested and would like to know the actual runtime of a certain battery, let me know because I've got batteries that have been used just like most people. Uh, and a lot of the runtime is with a brand new battery. So 
you know, if you want to know what a 6.0 is, it's a used 6.0, but it's fully charged, uh, then let me know. We'll, we'll do the test here. I've got plenty of ways to do it. So uh, we'll get it taken care of. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm Danny, trying to keep these videos short and sweet, but I can't shut up long enough. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Let's go. I'm a strive for the great. Yep. Knock with the base. Yep. I got the echo locked in your face. Ooh. If you want to battle, this is not that place. You can meet me at the table and come get a taste. We talk to YouTube live yep. where I thrive. Yep. See me on the tour, watch the grass fly by. Some, Some think that I'm cocky. DeWalt to Milwaukee. It really don't matter because y'all can get off me. If you like the video, sub, then hit a play. We got 10K.